Hi everybody, Burt Riggin here. I'm outside of McGee, Arkansas today with Matt Miles and with Extreme Ag and we're in his cotton field and we wanted to kind of talk a little bit about part of what makes up Matt's uh, stress mitigation program. So Matt, it looks like it, we're gonna have these stressful conditions of 98 to 100 degree days with 50 to 60 some odd percent humidity and temperatures at 90 degrees at midnight for a while. So I know you're trying to help stave off a lot of problems. What's part of your plan? Well, you know, that's that's the biggest thing on, on any plant, not just a cotton plant. Actually, cotton's probably can handle the heat in the, in the, in the dry weather better than, than corn and soybeans is, is to relieve stress. And you know, there's several different ways that that we think we can kind of add to that. And, and, and one thing we like to use is the cowboy. Uh, our cotton plants seem to always, in tissue samples, you know, we'll have a, a, a six to a six five to a six eight seven pH. And we'll still show in our tissue samples annually, every year, low calcium. Mm -hmm. And you know calcium's hard to get in a plant. Indeed. And, and one of the one of the things, one product we've seen that really will actually get it in the you know in the plant and 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 spike that tissue sample some is the cowboy. Of course, I think you'll agree with this too. Boron is probably after your NP and K is probably the next. I, you know, I would almost call that a, a, a my micronutrient. You know, because boron is something that, and we've learned that over the years, and I've even learned it more dealing with y'all and extreme ag how important boron is. So, you know, getting a combination of those two. Uh, products in, in, in one jug and being able to apply that foliar, uh, it relieves stress on the cotton plant. It gets, you know, it gets nutrients in there that needs to be in there. Uh, we just think that's a, you know, a regular program, at least at least at bloom. And then like you said, with this heat, uh, it, it's probably over a hundred we're sitting here right now. Heat index, I didn't even look before we got out. You know, we're setting up for probably something considerably like what it was in the eighties. We have tools now like Cowboy and different stress mitigation products that we can apply to these plants. And, you know, we're, we're starting to learn to try to do this, uh, as Kevin Matthews says, instead of, instead of farming an acre, we're, we're farming plants. So if we can start looking at this thing as, you know, what does the plant need, not the acre? And I know that may sound crazy. Not at all. But, you know, and, and, and I think, you know, stress mitigation is a big deal. And it's, it's even going to be a bigger deal this year even in the Midwest, you know, some of the areas where they don't grow cotton, uh, you know, corn and beans, everything's stressing right now. So uh, it's an important factor, you know, keeping it cool as we can with irrigation. And, uh, you know, mainly nighttime temperatures is what gets us. Right. You know, I mean, the daytime temperatures are, are, are bad, but when we get to where we're over 75 at night, then that plant really don't have time to respire. And I think products like Cowboy you know, allows that plant to do that. Maybe even at the 78, 80 degrees at night, it still gives it a chance to rest because it's got what it needs. Correct. You know, it's, it's got everything it needs. We're doing all we can do. If it still stresses, we're doing all we can do. That's right. And you know, for those of you playing at home, one of the reasons that uh, Calbor is able to do what it does is the Transmax technology. Uh, mm -hmm. It's unique. Uh, I know that sounds like a broken record, but uh, it was a technology that took us uh, between five and six years to develop. And it allows you to make a foliar application and have those nutrients move through the leaf and actually get into the circulatory system of the plant. Mm -hmm. So that's why Calbor works so well is that in dry conditions, uh, even with running irrigation, it's hard to maintain soluble calcium in the soil. And if we can make an application through the leaf and it get into the plant, then we're we're doing something good. Well, and, and, and calcium is such a depleted uh, nutrient in a tissue test on cotton during bowl load when it's heavy bowl load. I don't know that we ever have you know tissue samples that aren't low in calcium. And with y'all's technology to be able to get it in the plant, you know, if you remember when you first came to us with that, you know, Rob said there's no way that we can get calcium into the plant. And y'all said, we've got this way of getting it in there and we can see a spike in the tissue samples, mm -hmm. you know, and, and that's a, that's a big plus, you know, because these, these cotton plants and calcium go hand in hand, taking it outside of the stress mitigation, just mm -hmm. in normal production. If we had 85 degree days today, 
We still need that calcium in the plant. Oh, correct, because that's that's the essential building block that you need to make those fibers. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, it's calcium's critical. It's hard to get up out of the soil. Um, it all boils down to soluble calcium, and that's the holy grail that everybody tries to chase is to make sure that the form of calcium that they're adding to the soil can be solubilized and be present in the root zone for the plant to take it up. Yeah. Otherwise, it's difficult. You actually have to have root contact or direct interception. And uh, sometimes that can be difficult. Mm -hmm. And uh, especially on cotton fields where we tend to like the lighter soils. Right. So having- That's even aggravating. Right, having, having available calcium in these lighter soils can be, present a challenge in and of itself. Mm -hmm. You're exactly right. But the cowboy does do a good job. It's the best tool I've found for foliar calcium application. It's basically the only only game out there. I mean, you can apply boron, you can get it in the plant pretty good. Calcium's one that really don't go in the plant very good. So y'all's product is is the only one I know on the market that we feel comfortable that we're getting the calcium into the plant and we're getting to put the boron in there at the same time. Uh, so, you know, that's that's a pretty big deal for us. Well, I know it does a lot of good things for cotton. Uh, I, as many different crops as I fool with, I can say that as far as utility goes, probably Calbor is one of the most utilitarian products that we have because of the response we get across everything from vegetables all the way on up to row crops like cotton. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's a it's a good product. Um, I'm glad that uh, you got it in the rotation there for this stress mitigation because I think this year, if if it, any year, it's, it's going to shine. Play. Yeah. So. Again, we'd like to thank Matt for taking time out of his busy schedule to visit with us. If anybody has any questions or comments, give us a call or visit our website. We'd love to help. Thanks for having me.